Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, the climate guy setting the record straight about climate. This video is titled, Forest Fire Burn Acreage Plummeting. California has been having bad forest fires this autumn, which the ambulance chasers known as climate scientists have been taking full advantage of. Scientists have found human-caused climate change to be a major contributor to the forest fires in the western United States. Governor Jerry Brown blames fires on global warming. Southern California's burning is climate change to blame. California's new normal of wildfires. California wildfires. Governor offers grim outlook. California's hellish fire, a visit from the ghosts of Christmas future. Wow, this sounds really bad. It sounds like a Stephen King novel. But if we go back to 1970 during the global cooling scare, Southern California had exactly the same thing. Forest fires burning from north of Los Angeles down to San Diego. Over the decades since the 1970s, a lot of excess fuel has built up in these areas. So it's burning now, and it'll burn again in a few decades. That's how forest fires work. So rather than relying on superstition like climate scientists do, let's look at some actual data. According to the National Interagency Fire Center, almost 10 million acres burned in the U.S. this year. And that's almost double what burned last year. It was a pretty big fire year in the U.S. But if we go back in time to the 1930s, according to the U.S. Forest Service, nearly 50 million acres burned. So over the last 85 years, burn acreage in the U.S. has declined about 80% from 50 million acres per year to about 10 million acres per year this year. This is the exact opposite of what climate scientists claim. They claim that forest fires are increasing, when actually they've decreased dramatically. Here's an article from July 23, 1933, the Great Falls Tribune. Destructive forest fires burn over an acreage of 41 million acres of forest lands each year. Remember that this year was about 10 million. And here's one for the New York Times from 1938. Forest fires, one every three minutes in 1937, burned 22 million acres. Every three minutes on the average during 1937, a forest fire started in the United States. But that year's total of losses was considerably under that of 1936. The number of fires in 1937 was 18% less than in the previous year, while the burn acreage was only slightly more than half of the acreage burned in 1936. So people who claim that forest fires are getting worse, like Governor Brown and climate scientists, simply don't know what they're talking about. But as always, the story gets worse. If we go back to when CO2 is at pre-industrial levels, below 300 parts per million, there were about 145 million acres of forest fires every year. That's compared to 10 million this year. So forest fires are way down from when CO2 was much lower. There's no correlation between CO2 and forest fires, but there's very close correlation with temperature. The graph on the left is the percent of days over 95 degrees Fahrenheit at all United States Historical Climatology Network stations. And the graph on the right is the one we were previously looking at showing burn acreage in the United States. You can see that they both show a huge spike in the 1930s. If we overlay the two graphs on top of each other, we can see that there's almost perfect correlation. When you have really hot summers, you get a lot of forest fires. And when you have cooler summers, you get fewer forest fires. Heat in the United States peaked in the 1930s and has plummeted since then, and exactly the same thing has happened with forest fires. So there's no correlation between fires and CO2, and there's no correlation between heat and CO2, but there's a very close correlation between heat and forest fires. If climate scientists were actual scientists, they would recognize this correlation and use it in their research, but they do something completely different. They simply alter the data. The blue line shows measured temperatures in the United States at all NOAA United States Historical Climatology Network stations. And the red line is the data they release to the public. Rather than acknowledging the hot 1930s in the United States, government scientists simply erase it so they can create a fake warming trend, which doesn't actually exist. Climate scientists are like snake oil salesmen. Every time we have a natural disaster like a hurricane, flood, or fire, they could peer out of the woodwork and claim they have a cure for it. It's complete nonsense. Nothing that climate scientists say we should do will make any difference about climate. 
Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been playing back the curtain on junk science for a long time.